this and my selection of the five best affordable samsung phones to buy in 2024 combined with all details of how they perform and even more at the end of each starting with the samsung a05s the a05 is priced at 140 bucks for the best model and with that price the unboxing experience is pretty simple you get a single usb cable some paperwork and the phone on top so if you have no charger you will have to spend 20 bucks more to get one when it comes to the display you get a 1080p lcd 90 hz display meaning watching video is a joy with the experience of punch your colors and contrast also outdoor situations is good enough the display can go up to 470 nits of peak brightness. The design is simplified across the 2023 to 2024 Samsung phones. Now all new Samsung phones have the same stunning design, including this one. The performance of this phone is good enough for most tasks like browsing, switching from one app to another, and even gaming whereby the Snapdragon 680 chipset inside this device is moved at medium graphic settings when playing game. And the camera and video coming out of this phone are just fine. You can check my full review of this phone later using this thumbnail. The next phone in the list is way more advanced, the Samsung A34. At the pricing of 250 bucks, the A34 is a better phone than the A05s in six major sections. The first being the design. It has a premium design like the S23 and the S24 flagship, with a glass finish around the edges. The next one is the display. You get a 6.6 .6 AMOLED 1080p 120Hz display. Colors comes out bright and vibrant and the scrolling is fast with 120Hz unlike the A05 which has 90Hz. The next one is brightness. The brightness can go up to 1000 nits max brightness outdoors. Also there is a IP67 water and dust certification which the A05s lacks and a stereo speaker which sounds crispier. Under the hood you get a MediaTek Dimensity 1080p chipset. So apps work here smoothly and playing games at medium graphics is just fine for the most part. The photos and videos are good enough with a good exposure and dynamic range. The best part of this phone is the optical in display fingerprint scanner which is fast and reliable. A clean UI of Android 13 with 5.1 UI skin on top and a pretty decent 4 years of OS update and 5 years of security patches which leads me to the next mid route here the Samsung A54 at the pricing of 153 bucks the A54 combines both the features of A05s and A34 and brings them to a new other level from a simple unboxing experience and in display fingerprint scanner a 1080p AMOLED display, a 120 hz promotion, and the same minimalistic design. Unlike the others, the display here supports HDR10 Plus in Amazon Prime. And there is a catch here, unlike the rest. The vibration feedback that comes when typing on this phone is top tier. So this is one of the best but when it comes to the chipset powering this phone, the Exynos 1380, sadly it is not as powerful as the MediaTek Dimensity 1080 from the Samsung A34, which beats it as the test shows. Maybe it is not as optimized as the A34, but for the most part, all tasks run smoothly and the experience is good enough. Moving to the camera, the photos and the 4K 30 frames per second videos coming out of this phone are good with enough dynamic range and good amount of details. Which leads me to the next flagship at a cheaper price, the Samsung S23 FE, popularly known as the Fan Edition. 
at the pricing of 659 bucks, the Samsung S23 FE lifts up with expected value for delivering flagship spec at a cheaper price. From a beautiful redesigned aesthetics, where you get a glass at the back and a rounded aluminium matte finish around the edges. There is also a fast optical in display fingerprint reader, which is quick and reliable, and an updated 6.4 inch 1080p 120Hz samurai display that can go up to 1450 nits peak brightness at bright sunlight. And the display is also watchers for watching content. Unlike the A05S, A34, A54, the Samsung S23 FE has a dynamic refresh rate, where the phone scales down to 60 Hz to save energy when idling. Speaking of energy, the S23 FE shines in the camera department. The photos that the S23 FE picks are pretty likable with balanced saturation and contrast and the videos that comes out of this phone are way more reliable and consistent. You can easily use it to get professional shots and videos if you have no camera. And I recommend this phone so much because it has an insane value compared to the previous ones I have reviewed. And now comes the moment you have been waiting for. A small, compact flagship. The Samsung S24. This is the most powerful of the five and it comes with a beautiful 6.2 120Hz AMOLED LTPO display which can scale to 1Hz from 120Hz to save energy. When watching content on this display, the display is vibrant, the colors are accurate and the saturation pops. Both the Exynos and Snapdragon fashion of processors powering this device are still powerful, games play smoothly at highest graphics and there is no lag whatsoever. The box design of this phone looks aspiring and in my opinion this is the best. There is also a 4000mAh battery which you can charge it in 1 hour and 30 minutes. The photos that comes out of this phone is camera are gorgeous and sharp, the dynamic range is superb. The contrast ratio is balanced and the overall experience when taking photos is like that of a camera. So this is a worthy phone to take note of. Thanks guys for watching. You can now subscribe if you like this kind of reviews. And I have combined other options of these phones which are way more affordable. You can check them out.